Jesus is real. Jesus is real. Well, it's just for Robin Moore. Just don't do no lie. Jess is gonna bring you numbers. Just for the mess. I need this real. On the Breakfast Club. I know they know the distance. Keep it a stack. All right, Offset and Card just called it to drop a new album. So Offset showed his support for his wife, Cardi's music, on Instagram. He posted a muted video on his story, I guess, where he bumped into the music. And he said, that is just hard, basically. So um, he's bopping and making a stank face. And then he captioned, stop being scary. Drop the album. This S go crazy. Right? But I, I remember Cardi being up here, and, and we did her interview uh, at the end of last year, and she was saying this when she was up here about her album. And you got an album dropping doing? next year. Yeah. What quarter, Barty? <laughs> what quarter? I, I, what season? I, I'm really looking season. for first quarter. You think so? Mm-hmm. How you gonna narrow it down? How many records you think you got? I wanna narrow it down to at least like 18, 20. Okay. No. Okay. Spring summer. Are you are you are you there? Are you close? Hey yo, are shut up. He was at spring summer. You don't oh, have to oh, drop spring. a second album though. Right? Fuck I, you don't have to put out an album. But I have she it. Wants to go she do though. I have it. She do. Yeah, I think she do. Got to put out an album. Honestly, mm-hmm. as a Cardi fan, she been too quiet, and she, you know, she been chilling. She also did say in the interview um, with us uh, last year, she said that it is 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 pressure and she mm-hmm. you know and it's a lot especially with everything sounding the same and sometimes it's hard picking and choosing like with beats and stuff like that so um she has been quiet for a while so i hope i hope that she does drop soon i don't but, know what cardi waiting on i mean it's been what, since six years since the debut album but yeah. I, I i still don't feel like she has to put out a second album. I, I do. She's been putting yeah. out singles. She's been putting out features. Lauren Hill ain't gave y'all a second album in 50 years. Well, that's Lauren Hill. Yeah, that's, but, that's, but Cardi. It's a different day I and different think, age. Is it yeah. really? I think so. Cardi been one of the biggest stars out for six years. And still, and still. And she still, still is. is. Cardi but wants to do it. She wants to go on tour. Singles, she yeah. wants to put out that project. She can do I that think now. she does. Yeah, I think she can does. do it now. She wants to put out some more music. She, she, yeah. I, I don't know how I feel about Offset saying, stop being scary. Like Jesus, come on, husband. I don't, I don't <laughs> mind. I don't mind the public pressure. Lynch, oh, Jesus. Because because the public pressure does two things. Number one, it, it gives you you know encouragement to do it, but also yeah. it, it does this. It got us talking about it does Cardi's yeah. second album and got people talking about Cardi's second album. But I think that's what she's fearful. I think she's yeah. fearful of the criticism. I, I think it's she's fearful of, of how it's gonna be received. Yeah. It's, they gonna hate regardless. But, but Doja Bar- Cat gonna be doing more mocking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. But I think yeah. Bar- Barty puts out dope records throughout yeah. the year, so I think it's 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 time. Time, girl. All right, Lamar Odom comments on the Kardashian curse. Lamar Odom was recently on Big Boy's Network. Shout out to Big Boy. And uh, he was married to Khloe Kardashian. This is something interesting I didn't know. They got married um, a month after they met each other. Now, I don't watch their show um, the so Kardashian. much. So, yeah, the, uh, mm-hmm. Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I, 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 I used to watch it back in the day, but then I fell off of it. Um, but, yeah, they were married immediately after they met at a Ron test party. But this is what he said in the uh, podcast. Is there a Kardashian One. curse? I don't think so. Same. I don't think so. If you, if if the if my ratings would have been a lot better if you would have said yes. No, if the, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> if the curse is strength, right, and financial abundance and family strength, then yeah, they curse. And you know what I love about them, man, is that they're a tight family they're a unit. And I, I, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I've been saying this the whole damn tour. I think I think every American family could learn from that family. Mm-hmm. If you think about, they love each other. Yeah, their tragedies and their family. Mm-hmm. Or their their down times and their family and how they overcame all that. If you can't look up to that as a family, then you lost. Yeah, well, I mean, he has been vouching and saying that for a long time, but I just can't get over how Chloe said on a recent episode that Lamar will always be remembered as a drug user. So I wouldn't be. Yeah, what? she she said that. That ain't no allegedly <laughs> that you can pull that up anywhere. Yeah, she said that when when her and Kim were talking, Kim was going through some things about Ye, uh, with Ye, and she was talking to her sister, and that's what Chloe said. I'm like, dang, you just gonna reduce him to a junkie? That's nah. all we gonna do? So yeah, I I mean, but he has all the grace in the world for her, and and then I still think a part of him still didn't get over her and wants her back. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, so I shout out to him for that, man. And yeah, don't nobody look at Lamar as no junkie. Yeah, you I look that's, at Lamar as yeah. the, the NBA champion. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not like yeah, when you when you think of like. The poster child for junkies. Lamar Odom don't come to mind. No, not nah. at all. And I just, I was so pissed where, like, dang, you married him. Like, you married him. And this is what you feel like he'll be forever 
<laughs> like you scout mm-hmm. through basketball play and you feel like this is what he'll be remembered as. Yeah, that's whack. So yeah, it was very much whack. Uh Tiffany Haddish receives backlash for a live video. So she was on a flight and um, a fan asked if she was going to Israel for vacation. Um, because that's where she was going. And she said she responded and said, nah, she was going for a history lesson. This is her audio. On my way to Israel. I'm gonna go meet my future man out there. I'm out going to the Holy Land. I might come back with a little Jewish baby. I know a lot of stuff on social media be not true because I see stuff people say about me and I live my life. I'm living my life and I'm like, that's not what I said. That's not true. So before I get to speaking on stuff, because I've heard from people that live there on both sides of the gate. Now I'm going to go see. I don't even have to look at social media to know she got backlash for that. Oh my God, I'm real sure. crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was uh, a couple comments from social media users. Really, Tiff? Wow, there's so much I could say, but damn, this is heartbreaking. You are not uh, a safe space, and your instincts are inherently flawed and dangerous. And this one uh, is one I saw, too. This situation is heart-wrenching, resembling a scene from a horror movie with the tragic killing of thousands of Palestinians admit, uh, amidst this, she approaches the trip as a leisurely paid vacation, which I find utterly disheartening. But um, we, do, we do know for people who met her, uh, read her book and know her story, Tiffany embraced the Jewish religion after meeting her father because she was raised by a mom. But her dad is a Eritrean or Eritrean. Eritrean. Jew. Eritre- yeah, and Tiffany, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but I'm pretty sure it's Eritrean. OK, well, if you don't know, don't say it. Um, and it she she had a bar miss for her 40th birthday. So maybe she's trolling and maybe she is going over there to, to you know, delve mm-hmm. into her Jewish uh, community or, you know, inheritance or whatever that is. You know what I'm saying? It could be. But a lot of people feels like it was ignorant and dumb for her. To, the, the the live is 13 minutes long. Uh, heritage and, and background. Heritage. Yeah. Heritage mm-hmm. and background. Thank you. Um, and then some people say, does she even have brain cells? I'd love to know. So like she said, she see people talking about her all the time. And, and mm-hmm. maybe this is her way of keeping people talking about her. But I mean, if she just was like a newly founded Jew, then maybe is it doesn't hurt to go over there to see, I guess. What, no, I went to her bar, Miss Okay. Bat, bat mitzvah. I don't think I think bat mitzvah. Yeah, for, yeah I think it's bat. Mitzvah. It's bat. Yeah, I'm sorry. B a t. Bat mitzvah. She. Had I went to one of the mitzvahs. Mm-hmm. Okay. This was when she. I think she had turned forty. Okay. Was yeah. she given? It was given. I don't know. Oh, okay. Given what? I don't know. Was, was it given bat mitzvah? Like that's your first <laughs> one you ever know. met? Okay. It was fun. It was cool. It was yeah, cool. It was cool. It was cool All to right. watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Tiffany, uh, we, we ain't, we ain't, she ain't as dumb as I, you know, as people think she is. I, she knows she's very well aware of what's going on. Um, then it looked like she was going over there by herself. So, I mean, she could be going over there to meet family. She said she know people that's over there and stuff like that. So, we'll see. She said she don't just repeat. She can see, she see a lot of stuff online, but she gonna go over there and she's gonna come back with a report of what's actually going on. So, I guess we'll await for that. And nothing wrong with educating yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and experience is the best education. Right. So, mm-hmm. she going over there. Maybe she ain't had to do the live, but she going over there. So, we'll That's see. the thing. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you invite people into your space yeah. to judge you and criticize mm-hmm. you. Just yeah. go on your journey yeah. by yourself. You don't gotta show people. You don't gotta tell people what mm-hmm. you're doing. Like, just go do it. That's the issue. I agree. All right. Well, and I'm going to leave y'all with this real quick. Beyonce just became the first black woman artist with the number one country song. Yes. Come, on yes. Come on right. now. Yes. Come on now. Absolutely. My black country. That's okay. Right. Okay. Well, and that is a great segue in the donkey today because <laughs> I need John Snyder to come through the front of the congregation. We like to have a word with him. He's not too happy. He's not too happy about mm. Beyonce taking over the country charts, but we're going to discuss. <laughs> All right. We'll get to that next. We got Beyonce's record up. Can you pull it up right fast? We gotta do my, that. My, my, number one. If we gotta play a record. Miles will play that since we're talking about it. Number one in the country chart. Number two overall in the country too. Mm. Let me tell you something. That Behind that goddamn white man with that whipping chains. <laughs> Jack Harlow. Right. <laughs> we need a new number one. <laughs> you got it up. <laughs> it's at thirty seconds. Thirty. Hey yo. Uh, and then Young Miami said, "Put me on a remix." Oh yeah. The, um, <laughs> she sure did. All right. Donkey the day's up next, y'all. Let's go. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.